Joan Vassos set up Golden Baccalaureate Men with her eliminated friends. October 25, 2024. Hello everyone welcome back to my channel Bachelor Nation News. Joan Vassos has already taken action and set up the Golden Baccalaureate Men with Jerry Turner's rejects. Viewers have long been saying that many of them would make a good match. Now, she is further proving that theory. So how many connections has she made so far? Keep reading for more details. Joan Vassos set up Golden Baccalaureate Men with Jerry's exes. Since the first season of The Golden Baccalaureate began, viewers could see some of the men with other ladies, particularly those from Jerry Turner's Golden Bachelor season as some mirrored one another. Fans immediately started matchmaking night one in the mansion. They knew not every man would be right for Joan Vassos, but there were a plethora of women that had experience with the show. Here are some suggestions. Pascal and April, Mark and Susan, Sandra and Jack, Jack and Susan, April and Paxel, Nancy and Jordan, Bob and Theresa, Ellen and Greg, Edith and Christopher, Leslie and Jordan, if he's not the F1, just think they make a beautiful couple, Keith and Edith. So couplings have been made, but it was up to Joan to work her magic and connect her friends with some suitors. First, though, she had to eliminate many of them to allow them to find love elsewhere. Joan started out with 24 men who became very close friends and is down to three. Guy Gansard, Chalk Chapel, and Pascal Ebgay. That means that there are 21 eligible bachelors and the ladies of Jerry Turner season perfect for a mixer. However, according to Life and Style, Joan Vassos has already started the matchmaking process. She has technically set up two couples but shared the fate of how that is going. Well, I've already made a match. I've tried two. One is working. Joan then went on to add she had one that's about to work, about to happen. Unfortunately, Joan remained tight-lipped as to who these couples were. Hopefully, she will spill the tea during the men tell all special or at the finale. More to come. Right now, there are 21 eligible men, but there could soon be 23. Joan Vassos just had her hometown dates and has three men remaining. She eliminated Jordan Heller after the hometowns as she did not think he gave enough. However, Joan still does not seem completely ready to be in a relationship after losing her husband in 2021. The final three and Joan will jet off to an exotic island on the Wednesday, October 30th episode of The Golden Baccalaureate. That will determine who she chooses to give the final rose to. Do you think that there will be successful love matches between the Golden Bachelor and Baccalaureate discards? More so, which couple are you most rooting for? Let us know in the comments below. Today, we have an exciting update about the Golden Baccalaureate. Our leading lady, Joan Vassos, is taking matchmaking into her own hands, and not just for herself. She's helping set up some of the men from her season, with women from Jerry Turner's season of The Golden Bachelor. Fans have been eagerly waiting to see if sparks would fly between the contestants across both shows, and Joan seems to agree that there are some perfect matches waiting to happen. So how many connections has she made so far, who might end up together? Stick around as we dive into all the details. The Beginnings of a Crossover Matchmaking Dream when Joan Vassos began her journey as the Golden Baccalaureate, viewers noticed immediately that some of the men could be compatible with Jerry Turner's former flames from the Golden Bachelor. With shared interests, maturity, and a love for the unique experience of the show, fans started playing matchmaker themselves right from night one at the mansion. As the season unfolded, it became clear that not every man in the lineup was a perfect match for Joan. Some of them, however, seemed to have personalities and values that mirrored the women on Jerry's season, leading fans to suggest their own potential couples across the two shows. Here's a look at some fan-favorite matchups that fans are rooting for. Pascal and April. Mark and Susan. Sandra and Jack. Jack and Susan. Nancy and Jordan. Bob and Theresa. Ellen and Greg. Edith and Christopher. Leslie and Jordan. 
Keith and Edith. The fans' enthusiasm for these potential couples shows just how much chemistry they believe could exist if Joan and Jerry's cast members met. But Joan has taken the fans' ideas one step further and turned matchmaking into a reality. According to a report from Life & Style, Joan has already successfully made at least one match, and she's working on more. Let's dive into the details. Joan's real-life matchmaking efforts. It turns out that Joan didn't just want the men she eliminated to walk away empty-handed. She's been using her own connections to help them find love, even if it's not with her. In her recent interview, she shared that she's already tried to set up two couples, and one of them has been successful so far. Joan hinted that a second match is in the works, and it sounds like things are looking promising for another pairing. Joan explained, Well, I've already made a match. I've tried two. One is working. One that's about to work, about to happen. Unfortunately, Joan didn't reveal the identities of these lucky couples, but fans are speculating that she might spill the tea during the upcoming men tell all special or even at the finale of the Golden Baccalaureate. This type of matchmaking adds an exciting twist to the show because it suggests that the journey doesn't end when contestants leave the competition. Joan's actions highlight how strong friendships and connections can form within the show's community, extending beyond the usual Bachelor franchise boundaries. Who's still in the running for Joan? As we approach the season finale, Joan has narrowed down her potential suitors to three final men, Guy Ganser, Chalk Chapel, and Pascal Ebge. These three contenders have each formed deep connections with Joan, but the journey hasn't been easy for any of them. In a recent episode, Joan eliminated Jordan Heller after hometown dates, stating that while Jordan was kind-hearted and thoughtful, he ultimately wasn't giving enough in their relationship for her to see a future. Now, Joan is preparing for the most intense part of her journey, the final decision. The final three men, along with Joan, are set to travel to an exotic island for an unforgettable experience that will ultimately determine who receives her final rose. The next episode promises a mix of romance and emotional moments as Joan inches closer to deciding who she's ready to build a future with or if she's ready at all. After all, Joan is still navigating the grief of losing her late husband in 2021. Looking forward, the possibility of lasting love. With 21 men from Joan's season still single and ready to mingle, plus the amazing women from Jerry Turner's season, there's a whole new batch of possibilities for love matches. Joan's success with matchmaking could set a trend for future seasons where contestants from different seasons and spin-offs of the Bachelor franchise come together to find love. Pascal and April, a combination of charm and adventurous spirit. Mark and Susan, a couple who shares a grounded, caring energy. Nancy and Jordan, with shared resilience and humor, this duo could thrive. Keith and Edith, both love life with positivity and passion. The audience is watching closely to see if Joan reveals any more details about her successful matchmaking efforts. There's always a possibility she might even make a surprise appearance at Jerry Turner's season final to introduce some new love matches.